do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today i'll be discussing about hydraulic brakes so let us understand how the hydraulic brakes is applied in vehicles so let us understand that students let's start with the understanding of hydraulic brakes how it works let us see the diagram of hydraulic brakes obviously this is also based on the principle of pascal's law so the diagram goes like this the liquid that is oil is used here the liquid is used in this cylinder that is one cylinder over here and this is the rod which uh, this is the cylinder this is the piston and this is a rod through which the oil has to be transported to different by pressing it the that will transport to uh, port to different parts of the system this goes to the other uh, wheels to so basically uh, that is used hydraulic brakes are used to stop the vehicle that is uh, this brake is uh, the to slow down the rotating wheels by stopping it how that is done that uh, basic purpose is that if we in our cycle we press this then that the draws so draws goes into in this case here we have this is the oil used that oil by when the driver presses it that uh, this uh, piston this is the cylinder this is called the master cylinder this uh, which contains the oil and that uh, piston moves forward in this direction by pressing it it moves forward it gives a translational motion to the oil and this liquid now oil moves in this direction so it also moves in this direction as well it goes in this direction also and that direction this goes to the other wheels and that goes to one more wheels so this liquid or oil and this uh, there is a cylinder over here Okay, so this uh, oil
when uh, this oil is pressed into forced to move into this cylinder again uh, this is a piston uh, that then it will move this side this piston will move in this direction this piston will move in that direction so then what i'll do i will uh, this uh, piston is connected actually to to a bot metal body this is a metal body and uh, to this okay i'll draw this as a metal body and to this there, there is a connection of uh, this uh, <coughs> rubber that is a uh, material used to uh, rim of the wheels so this is pressed so now and i will draw uh, something here to distinguish this is the what i have considered and uh, i will consider the wheel the wheel uh, goes like this so this is the Wheel. Okay. This is the wheel. So this is the wheel. So I'll rather make uh, one more part here. So brass, this is brass, which is actually so by <coughs> pressing this, this liquid will move into this side, move in this direction and by this point it has got a junction so some oil will move towards the other wheel and uh, to the other wheel means like this this is a wheel and this oil come down to this cylinder and creates a pressure over here and this piston moves in this direction so the piston is attached to the brass this is moved in that direction. So this is pressing this, this oil coming forward, pressing this in the right side. So this piston moves right side, this moves towards right side. It comes in contact with the rims of the wheel. This also comes in contact with the rims of the wheel. So by doing, by moving towards the rim that pressures the wheel and creates friction and try to reduce the motion. Suppose the wheel is rotating like this, rotating like this, by pressing it, the speed or the angular velocity of this uh, wheel will decrease and uh, it will come to rest. But then uh, again, the thing is that uh, this one and this one is connected with a spring, is connected with a spring. So, as as long as you want the brake to be applied this is pressed and this comes in contact with the rim and that is the situation when when you leave this or lift this up when you don't want the brake to be applied then by lifting this the spring will now come into the action because this expansion occurs against the spring and after this is removed the brake is not applied the brake is removed from the brake pedal then the spring will bring it back to the original position so that therefore the the process will no longer will be in contact this will come back the spring will bring it towards its original position so this is how it is repeated
and this is how hydraulic brake work okay thank you